Hello everyone, in the previous video we talked about how we can have a pivot table and we talked about the different aspects of the pivot table which are the four boxes that we can use to create our pivot table. Now we, we want to talk about the design of our table and make it a little bit pretty to get a reports. As I told you, a pivot table is a fast and really conventional way to create a reports. So uh, when you produce your report, you want to make a period. Uh, at the first, uh, if you select your pivot table, you will see the design tab here. And as you can remember it for the size of the table, we have a pivot table size here as well. So in the size, we have the predefined uh, design of the tables that uh, by default, it is the blue one here but you can change it to the, for example, the red one or the gray one and you can go to see which of these styles are proper for you to make a use of them. Also, if you want to have the, your own design, you can uh, have the new table, pivot table style and you can change these style based on your needs. We talk about how we can have a new style in the, when we talked about the tables if you want you can uh, reference to this uh, to that video that we previously launched in the youtube and our website as well you can watch that video to see how we can change these but it's real simple you can just select them and go to the format and change the style to the what you need so uh, this is so easy and after you define your own style you can choose it to use that even you can choose it as a default style whenever you produce a new pivot table you can uh, excel by default choose that style you design it so uh, first you can for example choose one of these style i wanna for example and then uh, there is another options for you to make your pivot table much more readable for example for example, by checking the banded rows, separate each row from the, the uh, another row. For example, if I, uh, it's highly dependent of which uh, style you choose. For example, this uh, style will enable you to have the banded row, but this one, this one you, uh, will not allow you to have the banded rows. So, for example, if I select this one, it, this one, uh, I guess. Uh, yeah this one is much better the blue one and uh, you will have you will see you will have the banded row here and you can have the banded column as well if you uncheck the banded row and have to check the banded column you will have the banded columns here so that each columns will be separated by the color from the another uh, column and uh, you will have can uh, uncheck the column headers to have the columns header by the different color or not or you can have the uncheck the banded or uh, uh, you can uncheck the row header which you do not have that right now but uh, you can have uh, uncheck that as well so another thing you can manipulate with your table is the grand total of your table by default uh, the pivot table will add the grand total to do your table to sum all the rows uh, from your table into the another column here and also the summation of columns into the new row as the grand total row for your table you can hide those grand total by checking this off for rows and columns then you will not have uh, none of them or you can uh, check that uh, just having that for rows only then you will have the summation of your rows or you can have this only columns then you will have just the summation of each column at the end of the row of your pivot tables so uh, I guess for this specific table the having grand uh, total will be good so i will on that for rows and columns as well and also the subtotal when do you have the 
when you have another level of the rows for example if i want to see the years of the each customer i had and uh, see which for example in 2050 the customer which customer bought how much bought from me i can have the years uh, color years filled into the rows and i can have it in the first level so you will see that the first the 2050 and 2060 will be appeared and under each year we will have our customers or you can uh, change the level by dragging it to the another level under the name for example then we will have each customer and we can see how much each customer bought in each year so for example in this case I wanna see the subtotal, for example, by having the subtotal at the top of the values, I can have the summation of, for example, Afshin, my customer bought from me, and summation of his uh, purchases in the year 2050 and the purchases in 2016. So, uh, how can I make it more readable? For example, uh, if I do not want to have the banded columns, I can have the subtotal or, or I can uh, do not show the subtotal. If you do not show the subtotal, you will see the summation of the purchase of Afshin in the year 2050 and 2060 will not be appeared, but you will have each, uh, each of these value, each of these uh, summation of each of these purchases in each year so and uh, this is how we can have the subtotal or you can say okay i want to have subtotal or well, i want to have it in the bottom of my uh, each each uh, customer so i can have the action name and i see the years and then i see the action mean i for example the total purchase so uh this is how i can manage it or also if you want to have another uh, thing to see this uh, much better way you can change the report layout from the compact mode uh, right now you can have the compact mode so it changes the subtotal at the bottom to to remove uh, the redundant uh, role for having subtotal and also you will you can have them show it in the outline form then you will see the year which is the second level of my pivot table we move it to the another column and we, i can see the action mean I at the left side at the first column and which is the, my first row and then the second row in another uh, column of my pivot table so uh, this is can be much more readable i guess and now you will you can have repeat all items so if you have all items you can see the for example let me change the year because it's more sensible then i wanna have this because in most cases we will have the uh, we have a report for each year so in this year uh, if i do not do not repeat labels if you do not leave, repeat the labels and you go down you will see the empty empty souls here and uh, for example the variable purchases i cannot understand which year these uh, data are related to so if i uh, select the repeat all items i can see oh uh, now i can understand these are for 2015 and this is uh practical for some reason but if you do not ha want to have a have uh, lots of data in your pivot table you can have uh, uh, do not show the repeat labels so uh, for example this bottom this bottom can be hided as well if you uncheck that you will see this will be disappear so uh, this is another way and also for example i can change the layout in the tabular format so these uh, tables and the subtotals will be appeared so it's much more readable and then for example 
this is good this is another thing i want to merge these souls so if you want to have 2050 for all of these data and you do not want to repeat that you just need to uh, right click on this go to the uh, go to the pivot table options and then merge and center cells with the labels select this one and then press ok so you will see this uh, related 2050 will be merged for all of the purchases uh, this customer had from me and that can be much more readable and now I wanna uh, remove the blank of data that are total blank. You can see we cannot have removed this blank because this is not uh, the row blank. And so uh, I can filter it. For example, subtotal, the purchase of each of our, uh, customer will be blank. I wanna filter it to so I do not have the blank. I have to select multiple items, uncheck blank, and then check the that way so you, you will see the blank items will be appear disappear and i want to have some border in my table and i can see there is no pivot table that has the borders so i need to have my new slide i want to go to the format whole table i want to go to the borders I want to check all of the borders so that my table has the had the border so I press ok and then ok and then you have to check the custom you will see uh, because I select the new slide I just uh, select the border and uh, you can see the pivot table colors are cleared and you will have just the borders I want to edit my modify my slide so I can have the first row strip no I want to have the first row header the header row to the formatted to the for example fill of the color of the light blue and then press ok and you can see my first row will be light blue and then for example my first row to be first column to be another color for example for example light green press ok so you can see the main row or main table will be much more readable and now I wanna have some uh, slicer I wanna make some room so I insert some uh, for example just one row is enough I just make some room here I want to hide the I want to hide the grid lines so now go to the design and analyze and select some slicers and the slicer for example I want to filter based on the purchase as you can see sorry as uh, I want to filter based on the product name as you can see right now I can have the filter option here to filter based on the products for example I do not want to show the blanks and now uh, by having this slicer you have you are able to easily filter the products much more is the easier way for selecting this filter button by having the slicer so I use the slicer here I want to select the slicer go to the options make some columns and then make it much bigger so by this way you are easily able to filter the data of your products for example if I just want to see the how much this product sold in for each person I can have it right now at uh, this uh, way so by this way uh, I just uh, can see by this way I just see I do not want I do not need to have such uh, columns in my pivot table 
I just needed to, for example, the grand total. So I can remove the product name from the columns. And if you have this just one column and select it uh, based on each product, you can see I have the summation of sold of this product for each person in each year. So it's much more easier to be understand. I now need to make it plus and then go to the option. Now, by this way, uh, for example, if I want to see multiple product, I just need to use the control key in my keyboard and then select multiple products. So having the summation of the multiple products in one column. So it's a little much more sensible because we have a shortened table and then uh, the user can easily understand how much each person bought. And so this is how you can manage and uh, design your pivot table to have a better uh, reports. Or uh, for example, let me change it to back to the product name columns as well. So I love to have the uh, big pivot table. And now I just want to have just these three uh, products that I have it for uh, data for 2015. So I just need to select the, for example, this product and then this product. You can uh, choose a multiple select to choose multiple products. No CPU. We will show head suit, for example, no head suit just these products is enough so uh, for example if you want to show the purchase of these products which you have the data for last three years you can easily filter it by a slicer or you can use this one as well too and then have a beautiful pivot table for reporting to your manager also you need to be sure that is the that is can be printed in the paper so you can you have to be sure that it can be printed on the paper so for example go to the page loyals and you can see right now it cannot be printed beautifully in one paper so you need to change uh, the layout for example go to the page layout and decrease the margins change the rotation orientation and now you have the pivot table in just one column, uh, one paper, and also you want these, uh, you want this row be repeated in each uh, paper. So you just need to go to the page layout, go to the print titles, repeat uh, rows to repeat, select the row five, and then press OK. So you can see these row are repeated in each paper and also you can add the header for example purchases for each customer and uh, for example I want to make it old and video and you can have the also in the footer have the page number go to the design and uh, page number so this is page one two and three so by this way you have a really fast and a good report good table report to give it to the manager till next video goodbye in order to watch more training videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Diaco OTD. And if you want to see our products, please visit our website, diaco.co.uk.